pick your peas from the ground Follow that ox border where the water runs Dark Sarge, you pawn, fan in your post, it's long gone Grass cast to your knees, your pure conviction the camera over, Fergus. Yeah, today, um, talking coffee and a, a cheap alternative to the uh, very popular AeroPress, which on average costs about 30 quid. This is um, a much cheaper, oh, is that done already? God. Certainly is. That didn't take long at all. This little, um, it's like one of those MSR whisper light things, except it was about, well, I bought it quite a few years ago, $3.99. <laughs> Some Chinese thing where it works fine. Um, yeah, where was I? Yeah, coffee maker. Um, I'm offering this as an alternative, a cheap alternative to, if I can find it, there it is. I think it's called a Koneski. I'll put the picture of the uh, name on the screen. But uh, this was $13.99. As I say, a um, an AeroPress is about 30, slightly under maybe. Uh, the AeroPress, it, they both work a similar way to a cafetiere, but with this, that you don't need uh, filter papers, so it's a bit more eco-friendly. I'll show you how it works. Top comes off. The center cylinder comes out like so. <laughs> He's looking up there, I don't know if there's anybody there. And uh, you throw a little bit of hot water in, heat it up a little bit. Am I in frame? Let's move the camera back a bit. Right. One of the um, advantages of uh, film photography is that it leaves you lots of these film canisters which are really handy. They're actually leak proof, so you can put liquids in these. Uh, but I've got some coffee, a measurement of coffee, and a mix of coffee mate and brown sugar. So if you're just going out for the day, ideal. So, how do you do it? Well, not so difficult. Let's, yeah, I'll drop all the coffee in more or less. All the coffee's gone in. Now add the water. Let's 
Now leave that for uh, leave that for about three or four minutes to brew. <laughs> Just added a bit more water because it's going to be a bit strong. Just let this uh, warm up a little bit more. Yeah, this holds a mug, a good mug size. This is a very fast, uh, a very fast boil. <laughs> Come on, guys. Very fast boil, that, for the hour. Okay, add a bit more water. Leave it about two inches from the top. That's about, that'll do. About two inches from the top, right. There's your main, Vessel, I suppose you'd call it, the inner cylinder. Now don't ram it in, otherwise um, you'll get really scalding coffee in your face. The filter screws out for cleaning, but it's a metal filter in the bottom. Uh, they say you don't need to add expensive filter papers like you do with an AeroPress. It's a fixed filter. Gently push it down. I say it's very similar in concept to a uh, Push it. I'm always <laughs> careful about pushing this down because I don't want to get uh, scalding hot coffee all over my hand. Gently does it. And then at the end, twist. Twist clockwise. And then you've got a top. Twist that on. Make sure that is closed. It is. And that is Fergus, get out of the shot. <laughs> yeah, that is completely um, liquid, tight. It won't spill. You could put that in your rucksack, um, but yeah, it's better to make it out in the field, isn't it? When you need it, because I don't know what the heat retention qualities are, but see, no, non-drip. And then you can just keep this dog entertained with sticks. Go on. It's up there. <laughs> Have that one instead. And then simply pour yourself a damn fine cup of coffee. And this is ideal. I keep it in my camper, my VW camper. Uh, I'd also take it tent camping with me. I haven't done yet. I haven't done much this year. Um, again, going back to these uh, film canisters. I've got a mix of demerara sugar and coffee mate in there. My dentist doesn't like me having sugar. He tells me I have to stop. I can't drink coffee without sugar. Give it a bit of a stir with your spork. Well, that's quite strong coffee, that. Yeah, that's better. That's a nice cup of coffee, that. It does make lovely coffee. And uh, I have seen them on Amazon for th uh, 11 99 not that make, probably all made in the same factory in China somewhere, but I have seen them for 11 99 so a, lot of, a hell of a difference between the AeroPress. I shouldn't be here really, I did, um, we, got, we were going to go to the Lake District today. First of all we are going to Edale in the camper, and then I'll probably go to Edale next week. So we said we'll go to the Lake District, but I did a big bike ride yesterday, mountain bike ride, which was Bloody brilliant, actually. I'm going to film it. Yeah, I'm going to make a film of it, but it was quite tiring. It wasn't a long 27K, which is about 17 miles, but nearly 2,000 feet of ascent, and it was a hot day, 80 degrees, so I was a bit knackered today, so I thought I'll sod it. I'll stay local today, and we'll, uh, we'll go away next week. So, um, there you have it. A cheaper alternative to the AeroPress. Um, makes a nice cup of coffee. It's very robust. I mean, it's, I would say that's unbreakable, basically. Easy to clean. I'll clean it when I get home rather than here, although I could do it in the waterfall, I suppose. 
I don't suppose a few coffee grounds will uh, cause much pollution. Uh, yeah, I'd highly recommend the uh, Koneski, I think it's called, coffee maker. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's great, makes a good cup of coffee. Right, I'll catch you soon. See ya. You should settle down, pick your peace with the ground. Follow that ox water where the water runs.